Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to Gosley Castle. I'm the manager here. I'm going to show you around. Gosley Castle was built in 1468 and was owned by the Gosley family until just about 25 years ago when the present owner uh, moved in and uh, about five years ago uh, his young family moved away and we took the decision to start doing weddings here. Well here we are in uh, the historic wall garden at Gosley Castle built in 1616. Behind us you can see there's a, a wedding taking place this afternoon, we're just getting ready for that. The garden you can see has got the castle in the background so it's a wonderful location for photographs and this is where the majority of the weddings take place. There's plenty of possibilities here for your wedding and your reception here at Guthrie Castle. There's obviously the castle rooms, the walled garden and the lovely new pavilion function suite. And here we are out on the battlements. Not a place, unfortunately, the bride and groom normally get to come to, but we've come here today so you can enjoy the views. On entering the castle, you come into this magnificent hallway, panel lined and with animal heads displayed on the walls. It really sets the tone for an exciting day. We're pleased to be able to offer a wide variety of uh, weddings here. In fact, we cater from just two people, where myself and my colleagues act as witnesses, right up to parties with as many as 300 people attending. For groups of about 30, we do the wedding actually inside the castle for the reception, for the meal and that sort of thing. And larger numbers, we make use of our pavilion, a function suite that was specifically built about three and a half years ago. Here you can see the hall laid up for 100 guests and as you can see the guests come in, sit down at their tables and there's still plenty of room for a dance floor and a stage for the band. As far as catering goes we've got our own uh, dedicated caterers and they work very closely with the bride and groom to design the, the perfect menu for each and every couple. We don't have set menus as it were, um, we advise uh, and offer bride and grooms uh, a selection of menus and then they can mix and match them as much as they want. But also if a couple want to design their menu from scratch that's fine. And here we have the wonderful dining room. This is where we can serve up to 32 people for the wedding breakfast. Today obviously it's set in the fashion of a medieval banquet complete with armour helmets on the table. Uh, this is also where people will get breakfast served to them in the morning after they've stayed the night in the castle. We've got uh, two full-time wedding coordinators here at the castle. Our job is just to make sure that everything runs smoothly from when you first inquire about your wedding right through to the end of your special day. We very much uh, like to offer a bespoke service because each and every wedding is obviously different. But that said, we have got a package, for example, for just, well, there's two people. And then we've got packages based around a group of about 30 and then larger parties than that. We have the drawing room. This is where the guests will gather before the service, enjoying a glass of champagne before they actually go to the ceremony. And again, after the service, guests can come back in here and relax and unwind before they go for the meal. And here we have the library. Again, this is another room that guests can use to have drinks in before or after the ceremony. And quite often in the evening, when there's a noisy disco going on in the function suite, if elderly guests want to get away from the noise, they can come across here and relax in the evening watching TV or just chatting generally. It's very fortunate that you've come today because we actually have a, a wedding on this afternoon. Uh, it's a wedding with a, a bit of a difference because everybody's dressed up in medieval theme which is uh, quite different. There's about 30 people. Uh, the wedding's taking place outside as you can see today which is where the majority of our weddings do take place. But again we're fortunate that uh, if it is inclement we've got various options. We can hold weddings either in the, the chapel itself in the castle we can get about 30 guests in here for the ceremony and for larger numbers we use Guthrie Village Church which is just two minutes up the drive. Well, the grounds are most stunning here at Guthrie Castle and many photographers tell us it's one of their dream venues. There's so many perfect backdrops. We've got the loch, we've got uh, the beautiful wall garden, the historic element of the castle. I could go on and on. There's just so many backdrops. It's a, a wonderful photo album you're going to get when you, uh, when you leave here.
before God, before God, and in the presence of our families and friends, and in the presence of our families and friends, I, Daniel, I, Daniel, declare my love for you, Rebecca, declare my love for you, Rebecca, and I give myself to you, and I give myself to you, as your husband, as your husband. I promise you my love, I promise you my love, my loyalty, my loyalty, and my trust. For as long as we both shall live. When we haven't got uh, people dressed up in specific themes like they are today, um, the majority of people do enter into the spirit of coming to Scotland, even when we have uh, couples come from abroad, from Australia and from America, they quite often look up their, their family tartans as it were, and uh, more often than not, most of the men are, are decked out in either tartan or tartan trues, uh, and it makes a really colourful, spectacular display. We really couldn't believe our luck when we started doing weddings about four or five years ago here. We toured around and looked at some other venues and then came back and just couldn't believe what we had on, on, on our doorstep. The beautiful grounds, the, the two acre wall garden we're standing in now, the loch, the fact that we've got a nine hole golf course, which is uh, where the guys quite often go and play golf in the mornings while the girls are getting ready in the castle. Um, and then we've got the historic aspect of the castle itself, the fact that we can accommodate up to 32 people on the estate, the, normally the, the main wedding party. And then we've got local hotels very close by that can take extra guests. And now we've built our own purpose-built function suite that can cater for up to 300 people. Uh, we feel we've got everything all in one spot and in a beautiful, stunning location. <laughs>